there are a couple of things that happened simultaneously, but uh, one was was filling, bringing on someone, a contractor to help with our process. And once we did that, a lot of the stuff I passed off to my VA became a lot easier. Like, hey, we need an SOW, this amount, this start date, go. And like, that could be a voice note, right? And all of a sudden yeah. I have a draft in 30 minutes in my my slack of of the contract that i can send there's a few tweaks right but voice notes and then i send those those out okay jason they signed the sow um you know what to do next and he does the invoicing where the line item is for that package right and and asks them for their billing address and stuff and fills that out in quickbooks and then sends that off to them again they'll be like hey this guy hasn't paid yet you want me to ping him with the reminder (laughs) and i was like (laughs) Yes. Okay. Let's take the part where you say you're going to break their kneecaps out, Sid. And then, uh, <laughs> <laughs> it's always oh, nice. But... Jason, uh, you've given me so many new ideas. I didn't know you could use a virtual assistant for so many different tasks as well. Yeah. <laughs> That's amazing. That's either. amazing. We, we come up with new stuff all the time. <laughs> That's amazing, man. I mean, you literally automated your whole business. Like, I mean, uh, yeah, I can just see the benefit for you as well from a point of view of a busy entrepreneur. Because these are the tasks that would usually otherwise slow you down. Yeah. Imagine yeah. if you would have to do all these tasks or uh, your partner would have to do these tasks. But yeah, that's amazing. I think we yeah, can use this is... as a case study for Vishap as well. <laughs> I'll tell you two more things kind of weird. One really weird thing I have him doing now is um, our LinkedIn posts. I have a copywriter write those posts every day and he interviews yeah. me weekly. And then he writes uh-huh. the post for the week out in a format that people will understand. I read something Mm. on LinkedIn where they said ascending text and descending text really works to capture the eye. So Mm -hmm. like maybe one word here, two words here, three words here. So like really draws you in to read. So I'm like, say, do you want to take a stab at this? (laughs) So (laughs) now he's creating this word art for me on LinkedIn. Oh, beautiful. That's drawing people's eye where you want it to go, right? (laughs) And um, the other thing was, when I first started my business in 07, I, I did a lot of it on uh, personal credit and that destroyed my personal credit. My business destroyed my personal credit. Um, mm-hmm. Sid, Sid has been helping me with just the credit cleanup. On, uh, mm-hmm. And this is like outside of the scope of work, but just something like, yeah, whatever you need, man. Like I, you, mm. you treat me like business, part of the business, I'm gonna treat you like. So um, even just down to the tips of like, we need to call this creditor or send them a letter and we need to talk to this person too. Because uh, it's, as when we're looking, my wife and I are looking for a house, like that's something that we need to clean up. But he's like, you know what? I have this, this secret skill. I used to work for a collection company and they are the devil. Don't work for them. <laughs> but, uh, I don't know if you want to cut that out, but um, he, he he's, uh, said, here, here are some tips that I've learned. So he's been helping me and like in a setup on Experian and, and uh, three credit card companies to, Mm -hmm. to do that and uh i was able to justify that as a business expense using some of his time for that because the business is the one who used my personal credit and like brought it down got you there yeah so um i've been able to get it way back up uh since but there's just a few things a few items like letters contact uh Mm -hmm. stuff people we have to contact to finish cleaning it up but like that was a daunting task for me that had been sitting there idle for years. And yeah. even I found that even if the VA isn't or wasn't an expert like Sid is in this area, like to have somebody tasked with that and to hold you accountable for what they need. Mm-hmm. Yeah, that's that's huge. Sometimes you just need that push, that accountability. Yeah, so. absolutely. I think we all need a VA now in our lives. <laughs> <laughs> I got two. <laughs> Oh, you got two from from Visha? Yeah, yeah. Who, yeah. Who's the other one? Tell you about the other one? I can't tell you about the other one. He's my secret VA. Oh, okay. Yeah, <laughs> I, I don't remember the other one. The other one's Devish. Um, Devish, and, okay. Uh, he specializes in SEO, ad spend, and uh, basically oh. our markets. So um, he's been holding my feet to the fire about getting him blogs, new blogs that uh, content marketing and yeah, and SEO have keywords. Our keywords. Yeah. He's been yeah. researching keywords, our keywords, nice. but then change them to the trending keywords, what's hot. Yeah. And I noticed that those get updated every month. He suggested mm. that I take my LinkedIn posts and post them to our Google profile. And I was like, that's weird. And then he explained it that like, it's good mm. for Google to see activity on your profile. So like 
if you look us up beard and bowler you'll see like all of my linkedin posts there and there's activity mm -hmm. with legit five days yeah. a week on google um, that's so my business rankings, you're talking about google my uh, business yeah, google my business yeah it's yeah. photos and bad videos um so our rankings have gone up on on google and seo and mm. uh if 